Hi everyone, welcome back, and today we're going to be playing Shackle, a game by Stephen Miller. This is a soccer bond type puzzle game, <laughs> which I, uh, I've seen before, thought it was really cool, so I had to make a video on it, so let's begin. So, we play this little guy, and we have a little uh, Shackle. Uh, well, you'll see how it goes shortly. So we can move around, and we can push boxes, nice and simple. And we can complete level by standing on the goal. So here we need to complete four levels to unlock the next worlds. All right. So now we're going to just walk around and... Oh no, okay, well, we can go back, right? But our ball will block us. So if we always set the level. We'll hopefully be able to find that we can push the box there. And everything should go well. I found this game has been really cool. So uh, that's some really cool stuff, hopefully. It's a... Let's see what goes on. So if we move here, the we move forwards, and so the ball also pushes this box forwards. And we can move again. But you'll see that if we move a third time, we'll move into the door, and the door will shut, killing us, which is not right. So what we need to do here, we need to make this sort of movement. And bam, we unlock the door. Nice and simple. Now we have blue as well, which seems to be inverted. Ah, okay. So we need... So when both these buttons are down... I feel like we made a mistake from the get-go then. Well, this is the only thing we can do, really. We push this up. Oh, door's open. <laughs> I feel dumb. Very really unintelligent. Cells. Okay, so here we've got to push the down. Lovely. And then both buttons need to be pushed down in order to win, so we'll do that. And the flight magic, door open. And now for level 6. So if we push this up here, we'll activate that. But we also need to push... We also need to then get past this door. And we can't do that like that. So, what we need to do is we need to go up and then back down to push that against the ceiling. And then we can do that. That way we don't push that there. Nice and clever, nice and simple. And now we've locked well too. Okay, so here, let's see. So here I guess the main challenge is that we need to access this door. But if we take the box like this, we won't be able to win the level because where well, we just the ball will block us. So I guess the solution to this level would be to push that there and then come around in such a way so that now we push the ball and so it's behind us. Nice and simple. Let's see here. So here. Hmm. Here we've got, let's see, we have two boxes, and, okay, so if we, we need to open this button, we can't push any of the bo box out of the way, uh, we could push down like that, and then, if we get off the button, like what happened to our player, it destroys the box, which is amazing, and also means we can now come around and do some classic soccer bar and box pushing, a bit more in the level. We've also unlocked the next world, but we're going to continue on. Level 9. We are pushed that like that. But now, we can't beat this level, can we? Because the box is going to be in our way. Okay. So. Can we do this in such a way? So what I'm thinking is, if we have the ball here... 
We should be able to push the boxes up, which will hopefully do the blue, if we can multi-push, which we can do. So if we set up one box here, and then we set up a second box here, now we can push up once and up again, which will push the blue button for us, and we'll be able to win the level. Nice and simple. Okay, I like that. Uh, now we're on 2-10, or level 10. So, so here we need to hold down one of the buttons. Okay. I'm think. Oh. We can't actually do this because we don't have the space to. We could push like that, but that doesn't really achieve anything for us. So, let's see. I'm thinking... We want to come around like... This? Because I'm thinking we want to push, this is the big thing. But we can't really push from here at all. <laughs> We could try and set up another like that, which will get rid of that and that. But now we don't have a box, which is the problem. Because now we can't beat this level, because if we try to, we'll simply die like that. So we have to save one of the boxes, I think. So I think what we, we have to do is we have to uh, push this box most likely upwards. So we probably have to only kill this one. My question is, how do we do that? We could try running around like this. And that does actually do it for us. Oop. We don't want to do that twice, we want to push that. There we go. Nice little puzzle there. And that's well too complete. So here we're introduced to a new mechanic. And, okay, so while we're on this block, our chain won't move with the ball at all. That's, okay, that's a cool mechanic. Oh, and the problem here is if we go too far, the chain becomes solid and we push it up. So I think the solution is just to navigate like that. Nice and simple. Okay. Overlap. Oh. <laughs> that was quirky. So what happened there... Which we went up, right? Then we moved to the right while the chain was fixed. And what happened there was now when we move, the ball ends up pushing the box upwards. Okay. First, we want to do it like that. There we go. Nice and simple. I think my mouse was blocking that though. <laughs> Level 13. So here we want to have none of the buttons pressed. Okay, then what gives? Well, no, wait, we, want, we want both of them to be pressed. Ah, uh, there we go. So we want both the buttons to be pressed test. What we did was we want this to be pushed onto here so that we can destroy this block. And then we push that here to make this chain pliant. So now, because the chain is loaded, when we move up, we'll press both buttons at the same time, which closes that door and kills that block. Such a cool level. And, okay, so... Oh, God. Chain shenanigans. So I guess we probably need to have like a slightish, slightish shape going on, right? There we go. Okay, cool. I liked that quite a bit. But we have chamber. Okay. So here, the goal is, what is the goal? So the goal is to push down both blue and not blue. But we need both the buttons down. 
Ah, uh, I see. So that will mean... What? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it dropped off my ball. <laughs> oh, because the ball got stuck in the door. So that move is now impossible because we need our ball to hold down the button. Okay. So we can indeed break our shackle. But we can't move upwards. Because if we move upwards now... What do we need to do exactly? Unless... Unless that... Okay, so hear me out. What if breaking... If we can break the chain... So if we can set it up like this... And we come through like this... Which will break our chain... And we'll leave our ball intact. Now we have effectively a third block to push around. So now we can push this like that, activate that button, take that off, oh, and all the way around here, yeah, okay, that's really cool, because we would need three items anyway, two to hold down those buttons and one to hold down that one, okay, that's, that's a cool mechanic. I can't, this world's gonna build on it, I bet. Okay, so here, we need to unlock these two blue blocks, and to do that, we need to push this button, this box up, and we need to push this red one in order to get that working. But our ball will block us. So would this just be a matter of a this? No, because then our ball will block us on the way back, so we just gotta... I guess we have to com just completely remove our ball. Yeah, and that's why we can push that extra bit. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. 17 loop. So here, let's see. We've gotta push down both the buttons in the end. And this one looks suspiciously stuck. In fact, this looks like we want to push this down, otherwise it's going to block us. But then our ball blocks us is the problem. So basically we don't want to come through here until we push that down. Is what I'm getting from this. Okay. And now we can come down. Can we stand here and do anything? Because what we want here is... We effectively now got the problem of... If we actually, we can do that, and then we can come around and we can sever our ball. I was going to say the problem we were having was that we uh, have a problem with our ball, but that's okay. We've solved that now. Right. 18, gate. So we've got to hit blue. And there's no way we can get any boxes there, because if we push a box down, we can't push it from either side. So we probably need to sever our ball in that spot. So we make a setup like this. Then we move up. Oh, but we need it to really, we need it to really just sever there. Well, already we need to go up and then just sever our ball when it's there. So what we could do instead, if we already set, we could bring this down. Oh. Yeah, if we bring this up now, that severs our ball. We don't want to get rid of our ball is the thing. Unless the whole gimmick here is to push this box down twice. So we'd need to make a move like this. We get rid of our shackle. And then we do it. There we go. I liked that puzzle. That was a good one. Right, 19 options. So here we basically have to push down this button with our ball. But we can't do it like that because that kills us. So that tells me that we've got to eventually have the ball on this side, maybe.
let's see. Uh, if we push this ball there, that does not work. We kind of want to end up in a position like this. So we have us here and the ball there. And so the chain, the ball breaks it. But the problem is we need to be on this tile to move downwards in the first place. So this seems to be the most feasible spot to break our chain. Right? Because coming through here makes sense as well. But then we have the problem of we just can't push this in the right direction now. Because we can't get on the other side of the ball without doing that. Once we're there, we've basically just lost our ball. Goodbye. <laughs> hey, guys, we won the level. Woo! Interesting. Hmm. Okay. So if we want to move this. <gasps> there we go. There we go. Okay. So if we, so if we push our ball down, sorry, push our ball down here, then we move to the right. And then if we move up now, we've effectively cut off our ball using this block here. And we're going to push it down and beat the level. That was a tough one. Okay, here, let's see what we're doing. Here we have, if we push this, and that brings it on, okay. So we need to push down both red and blue. So we need to definitely set our ball here. I bet the problem is we can't push this down without doing that, and from there we've just set, we've just lost our ball. So we probably need to do that from the other side. But how do we get that going on the other side? Because from here... Okay. Because from here the problem is we want it to activate now effectively, but we can't do that because we can't activate that one. But, if we had the other block here, here, we could do it. So, if we reset the level, uh, if we come over here and push that block aside, then push this one, now we can use both the blocks together in order to push this one onto that button, which will sever our chain. Now we can come back and free you. Uh, we've got to be careful of this one. Ah, uh, that's a one-way door now, because we blocked a thing. We want to push that forwards. Push this over the buttons here, so that we don't get stuck. Push that. And we open the light door, and there we go. Awesome. Let's see, what else? Okay, so here, 21 weights. Okay, so to get to the goal, we need, we need to not have the blue button pressed, and we do need to have the light button pressed. So is it as easy as just going that? No, because our ball gets severed in this move here. That doesn't mean just do that. No, okay. So in that case, we need to push this down. And now we need to go back to pushing both the buttons. Which, if I can say so myself, seems problematic. You can move like this, and then... Not quite. <laughs> we have sold the level, eh? So we need to... Essentially, make a move that severs our chain. So if we push here, then we can move up and we can get rid of our chain. And then I think the level is solved. Because now we just need that, and... We've got this box stuck. And puzzle solved. And scarcity. Okay. So... 
Buttons. So when we place both the buttons, we'll do that. Oh, but we need... We need something for this one as well. Okay, so what if we put the box in here? Then using the ball, we hold down this button. We move up, and then, now, when we move left, we'll sever our chain, leaving the ball on the blue button, and that gets us out. Nice and easy puzzle. I like it. Trust me, it gets so, so much harder. Uh, but if you want to see myself flying into it in the next video, and if you want to play the game, check out the description. Shackle by Stephen Miller. Woo!